Good evening everybody and welcome to Pack Meadow for this Birmingham Senior Cup tie between Coles Hill Town and Tamworth. Um, tonight's broadcast is brought to you by Lambs Media who are proudly sponsored by OnlySuperNews.com. News to make you feel good. And commentary tonight is myself, Stuart Bialta, and alongside me tonight is Dave Clayton. Yeah, good evening everybody, good evening Stuart. A nice uh, chilly evening for football. And as we mentioned, for Tamworth, uh, in goal, Rich Walton. Two is Luke Little. Three, Henry Wilder. Four, James Fry. Five, Rashan Francis. Tonight's captain's number six, Nathaniel Rowe Turner. Seven, and uh, making his first start since his comeback is Chris Light. Eight, Bilal Yafai. Nine, Tyrell White, 10 Greg Casaboni and 11 Ahmed Obeng and on the bench we've got Jordan Goff, Reese Honus, Ryan Bezik, Aaron Ford and Dan Creedy which is effectively half a starting 11 from the goal and on my watch that's nearly 10-2. Yeah, kicking off a few minutes late aren't we? Yeah. So it's back with Sandu again, similar position for a long throw this time into the box looking off the head of Roe Turner. And then Light and Casaboni combine, but Coles will get it back again. Yafai goes up for the header, but clatters his man, so that's a free kick to the home side. And a tiny bit clumsy, but I don't know whether it. Yeah, I was a little bit. He's not caught sure. him in the head. Yeah, I'm not sure who he's down, but he's got a head injury, and the referee has called on for the Coles Hill physio for some assistance. Not too sure what the. Colesville got the locker for free kick. He's Moles direct hit goal. it. Oh, well, Molesworth hit it. It took a deflection of, I think, one of his players and yeah, beat a... Richard Walton. So Colesville take the lead. Through ball there from Froy, looking for Tyrell White. He finds uh, Chris Lake. Shot from Chris Lake. It hits the inside of the right hand post. And he's, well, it, it's an initial shot from Lake. Hit the right hand post. Came back out diagonally to the same player and Chris Light finished with a tidy finish into the far corner so it's 1-1 yeah, yeah, in the Carswell half taken quickly to the feet of Chris Late. he finds Bill Ayufayu back in turn finds Chris Late. looks like Henry Wilder on the left hand side comes back into Late. he comes to James Ryan in the centre of the pitch who's immediately under pressure but the ball's back to him straight away to Ayufayu Sheets. Oh, that was a court. great save off Casaboni's yeah, shot. Was, yeah, there was a shot there from. I'm not sure if it was Tyra Waite, but then deflected back. Dubious penalty decision, don't we, Dave? Recently, <laughs> we've now actually on the break, almost we one on one, and a great save that was. By Paul Hathaway. I'm just trying to work out if that was Greg Casaboni or Tyra Waite who was through with the keeper there, one on one themselves and Hensford both drew on Saturday and we hopefully picked up the three points and there is the half time whistle back to Ty White and throw into the lamp which White releases Casaboni into the box he's got past his man I don't think he can get a shot away though but he has found Chris Late he's got one man to beat before he can get a shot nice little flick turned by Obeng he's got four men in front of him but he falls to Late left footed and Batted away by Hathaway to deny him his second goal of the evening. It's another fantastic save there by Paul Hathaway in the Coles Hill goal. And it's probably made three really telling saves so far to keep Coles Hill in this one. Yeah, it's a little strange one, but he's put down from the back foot straight away again. And Coles Hill are in the ascendancy now, and they've got their tails up a little bit. Yeah, we seem to have let them come on to us a bit. Oh, what a strike! What an absolute screamer! So that's Sandu from 40 yards, left footed, yeah, caught, took a bit of a dip. He did it, caught Rich Walton off his line, and that was a sublime goal. But some of those, they were happy just to stand off their men, and only found as he was invited to take that shot and you know, nothing away from the shot. Thomas should have done better to close their man down. Thomas with it all to do now. So now we really will see the intentions, I think. I think we will now, yes, if we see the, the big guns come off the bench. Oh, and Coles on the attack again. And that looked like it had gone in again, but again, it clipped the outside of the left-hand <laughs> post. Okay, so a minute of added time now being played, and Tamworth 
with the ball in right back position. Rashad Francis long onto the head of Creedy looking for Honus. Head of Honus onto the chest of Light. Chris Light knocks it through and there's the equaliser. Unbelievable. Yeah, Chris Light. Uh, exactly 2 2 here at yeah. uh, Pat Meadow. Chris Light has actually picked up a bit of a knock and he looked to be really holding his knee in some discomfort there. Yeah, Chris has gone down. And he looks to be in some considerable pain. You can't put any weight on that right knee whatsoever. Can I write 100 yet? No, not quite. Not 98. quite. Well, we're not far off the day. We're not far off. So, free kick. Not sure where this one's going. Long ball down into the right corner. It's uh, missed by George Washbourne and he rotates around Ty Waite to give Tamworth a free kick. Yeah, I imagine though that this probably will be one of the last kicks of the game and that we will be going to penalties but we will wait and see. It's been a funny old game though, anything can happen still in this one. There we go though, I think, yeah. Final whistle, Mr Lane blows his whistle. So full time scorers, Colesill 2, Tamworth 2. Definitely showed the intent to uh, get back into the game so you'd like to think they're going to give it all in this penalty so the first one Ryan Bezik runs up to the ball hits it left footed into the bottom right corner 1-0 to Lambs in the penalty shooter yeah, so Paul Hathaway did guess the right way but fortunately Ryan Bezik slotted it right into the bottom right hand corner as we look at the goal from our vantage point and he takes up his run right footed and Walton did get to it, but it uh, went underneath him. And yeah, it went there the same way as Ryan Bezik's penalty. And as he steps up, that's a bit of a strange penalty. Though. Hopefully, he did hit hit the back of the net, but he almost slowed his run up and pulled halfway. And already made his dive down on his line with his red boots. Zazi with his white boots, right footed, <laughs> wide of the mark, hits the fencing around a 3G pitch. So two one to the Lambs. It remains. And could potentially make it Tamworth 3 1 up on penalties. Up steps Reese now. Oh. Sends Paul halfway <laughs> the wrong way. Yep, yeah, keeper versus keeper. I, uh, and you know, I don't want to be disrespectful to Rich, but you've got to fancy Paul halfway to, to smash this when smash you've seen it. him do it with penalties in the past. And, and so he does. does. He leaves Rich on flat footed, rooted to the spot. Up so. steps James Fry. Sends the keeper the wrong way once again. Blows his whistle, Washbourne left footed. Saved, saved by, by Walton. Walton, excellent save by Walton. And Tamworth win the penalty shootout. Another one. Another one, <laughs> three penalty shootouts this season and we've won 